Many pardons. Either my person is alarmed by a most potent evil, or I am again experiencing a reincarnation of the worst eel vindaloo I ever ate. Perhaps I have some leftover ginseng root. Hmm, I wonder where this came from. Very pungent. Yes, it is still imbued with powerful vibrations. Anahata Vishuddha Shakti Shakti Shuddha Makti. Someone cancelled their subscription to Better Homes and Gardens. Hey, you there! Whoever's playing with my door, go on, open it. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> oh, thank you, but uh, no. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said. Let. Me. Out. I've got things to do. Worlds to destroy. Havoc to wreak. Do you hear me? I said open the damn door! Greetings. It is I, Elemental, Supreme Being of the Universe, and your divine inspiration. Saints and sages, my meditations have been answered. Oh, Divine Mother, I bow humbly to you. There's simply no time. The universe is in peril, most grave and vile. Oh, so it wasn't the eel vindaloo. Your conjuring of these astral portals has violated the very fabric of time and space. You have risked the release of the most powerful force of evil in all the universe. My opposite in every way, macho de nada. You are referring to the ranting fellow with the delusions of grandeur? What exactly is being his dilemma? By summoning our portals to your dimension, you have initiated the first sign of the comedy apocalypse. If macho de nada is released, there will be excruciating results. But you're the supreme being of the universe. Couldn't you just be walloping the bone marrow out of Mr. Macho? I am a creature of awesome power. However, I cannot physically manifest in your dimension. You have to write things yourself, Koala. You must find the lost scroll of the sacred prophecies. The what? The lost scroll. In the beginning, there were two scrolls. The one you screwed around with manifests the trans-temporal portals. The second parchment returns them to their rightful plane of existence. Oh, thank Guruji. This is most easily facilitated. Just tell me where the lost scroll is and I'll go get it. Unfortunately, they were torn asunder at the dawn of time and the pieces scattered all over the cosmos. You must find all of the pieces, Koala or kiss your chakras goodbye. It is also said that the scrolls are an ancient gateway to total enlightenment. I am hearing you say total enlightenment? That would make my guru training much easier. Very well. You are hereby charged with finding the lost scroll. But you must hurry, Koala. I cannot prevent the opening of the second door. Only you can save us from Macho's most heinous villainy. He's the primo mystic, illusionistic, marsupial groove cat. That's where he is at. I'm a koala. Funky man, dollar. Magic marsupial. I don't see, he's a nightclub rage. Very famous, so big it's made. But the main attraction is a bit of action. 
a guru gum shoot, a salmon saber, hangs with Dr. Dingo, his right paw, man, koala and dingo, the pair with a plan, no steaming Brahmin, he never failed, the mighty haku and his pal with a tail. Together onward with stealth, they travel the unknown corners of the cartoon universe. So begins the drama. Koala Rama, hit Jiyama, Koala Namboa. This is most serious. I must call my trusted colleague Dr. Dingo for help. Righto, Dr. Dingo too far here. State your business. Dingo, it is me. We've been hired to locate the lost scroll. If we can find all the missing pieces, the lost scroll promises to bestow total spiritual enlightenment. Is that not the most exciting reward you can imagine? Enlightenment? Pshaw! I'm a man of pure science and unadulterated action. I lift my leg on enlightenment. Oh, okay. I'd just give Shermo a jingle. He is most entranced by forces of evil. Forces of evil? Yes, oh repetitive one. I must prevent the most powerful evildoer of all time from causing the comedy apocalypse. An apocalypse? Brilliant! Count me in faster than lima beans going through me lower 40. Pick me up in the TTRV and make it snappy. Praise Mandala. I knew I could count on Dingo. I am needing all the assistance my karma will permit. I shall conjure up a my mystical spirit guide familiar. Shakalulu, Rama Rama Poo. A flying bug. I am receiving a lousy insect. Ah well, perhaps there is great providence in this familiar. Shanti Shanti, welcome and a thousand blessings to you, my winged buzzing thing. You are my familiar. This means you are to assist me in any way possible. You must help me for the remainder of this quest. After that, you are free to go. Okay, let us quickly review your job. First, when I say jump, you say, how high? Oh, and I'll also be writing you off my karma tax as a dependent deduction. You should be able to pick up and carry most physical items. Try picking up this official Dolly Lama incense holder. Most excellent! Also request me to carry item. Just set the object on my magic fez and voila! It is being stored. Please for you to try this. A true genius! If you require a stored item, simply tap fezzo. Now you try. Select any item you wish to retrieve. Most peacefully accomplished, O Flying One. From now on, I will call you Fly. Ah, it looks as though we have finally arrived at Dingo's hideout. This is where my intrepid friend howls at the moon. Dingo! Hmm, most unexpected. I'll check inside, you poke around out here. Surely watching this is bad karma. When the news returns, Bob will review Spider Lumbar's latest book. LTV! <laughs> Big smackin' hits! I cannot believe this is worthy of an entire half-hour show. Okay, and lift, and tuck, yank, strain, and down, and lift, okay, and pile, and stretch, stretch, alright, 50 more! Uh, buzz off! It's a full-bodied beer! <laughs> buzz off, beer. Give Fly something to live for. 
What the? I have never witnessed such utterly moronic behavior. Do you really love me? Of course I love you. I married your brother, didn't I? Just apply Bondo deodorant and you'll never worry about sweat again. Ooh. This is worse than spoiled tandoori. Don't let perspiration put a dent in your life. Use Bondo today and be sure you're covered. Blessed souls, this is worse than lying face down in a gutter in Calcutta. Yes, that's right. Precision loafers. These comfortable casual shoes actually mount themselves to your feet. This show is an unpardonable indigestion. And on the domestic front, more bad news. Stocks are down, unemployment up, no reason to live. LTV! Big smackin' hits! I cannot believe this is worthy of an entire half-hour show. Perhaps the answering device will illuminate things pleasantly. Yes, uh, Dingo. Dr. Sneasley here. Lab just called with the results, and to be frank, it's not good. As I suspected, uh, what you have is a rather hideous case of worms. Quite advanced, really. And so I'll be sending a prescription down to your druggist, and uh, I'd fetch it soon if I was you. Right here. Bye, then. Most embarrassing, but sadly believable. Doc, uh, it's me, your brother Franklin. Now, pick up if you're there. I've been tossed in the lockup, the big house, the hooskow, the pokey. Caught without my blasted tags again. Oh, cripes. You're my one call, so be a sport and pick me up, won't you? Don't delay. <laughs> Hard to believe they're even from the same litter. Ah, yes. The meditation chamber. Ah yes, the meditation chamber. Life is suffering, but that is going too far. Can't hurt to look.
Rum Baba, not even a crumb. Hmm, I sense an aura near, very near. Wing dung beetle. Bingo! Goodness gracious me, it's you! Koala? Ripping good to hear you, mate. But I'm not real keen on your pal here. Dingo, calm yourself. I'd like to introduce my little winged friend. Dingo, this is Fly. Fly, this is Dingo. We'll have you out faster than a water buffalo passing a sesame seed. Koala, have you gone balmy? You're talking to a flying gertie eater. You're hanging out with some real bottom feeders. This point you make is well taken, seeing as you have acquired a filing cabinet around your person. Yeah, well, it's your fault I'm even in here. I shudder to ask. I was looking for the scrolls when I must have tripped the bloody intruder alarm. I'm locked in here. The computer in the lab should help. Of course. 
With Dingo, the solution is always being technology. Did I mention that Dr. Dingo is a genius when it comes to home security booby trap? You go first. Voila! We are in! Well, 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 an elevator. How could I have forgotten? This could provide us fruity results. Dingo is a very strange breed indeed. Some of his inventions are most frightening. Did I tell you he invented a cure for male pattern baldness? He calls it the hair gun for men. It is working just like a nail gun, only it hurts more. I have no idea where we are going, but we're on our way. Thank Guru, it was so dark, I couldn't find my fez with both hands. Great Gertie, that's the second biggest generator I have ever seen. Computer is an excellent idea, but first, let's surf the net. <laughs> I am just... It's a most intimidating unit.
Doglog, Wednesday. Good day today. Won six dollars on the lotto and spent it all on gum and candy. Doglog, Sunday, afternoon. Dirt disintegrator needs fine tuning. Big test tomorrow. Doglog. Tuesday afternoon. Welcome to the Dingo S computer system. Your data is trotting over there right now. Pick your poison! Doctor's quarters, water closet. Mind the door. As the great koala mentor would say, no one shall pass but that speak the tongue of the keeper. Loading passcode. Checking. Passcode accepted. Sniffing. A ten hot! Yes, sir! How are you today, Dr. Too Far, sir? Gangway! Draws ahoy! <laughs> I never expected one of Dingo's contraptions to actually work. You won't get me here, Bandicoot! If you can fight, I can walk! <laughs> what? Where? How? Yes? No! Who? 
kudos, my little friend. We have found Dingo. But before we mark this case closed, I have the tiniest favor to ask. Dingo has an outstanding mind, but it takes a while to warm up in the morning. A little shiatsu of the gray matter, and he'll be right as rain. I am thoroughly perplexed. What is this thing? Well, ma'am, does this look like the man who hijacked your llama? How exciting! This is like charades! Hmm! It's a Yeti! I am certain I have seen this one in the post office. He is on the 10 most coveted list. Unmistakable! It is Dingo! Although, I don't think it captures his eyes very well. Your data is trotting over there right now! Ah yes, the computer is an excellent idea. But first, let's surf the net. <laughs> I am just pulling your robe. Why hello, be so kind as to enter the password. Your data is trotting over there right now. Doctor's quarters, water closet. Don't be a stranger. We have obviously activated the power. Now we must determine how to best act responsibly. Are you sure you're sure? I'm supposed to remind you that you've only got the one missile. You still want to go for it. OK, 
okay if you insist. Press yes, they're toast. If you think some namby-pamby diplomacy might work, press no. An object of such size traveling at such a velocity could be exceedingly painful. Lingerie? Why, of <laughs> course. I never expected one of Dingo's contraptions to actually work. You won't get me here, Bandicoot. If you can paint, I can walk! What? Where? How? Yes, no! Who? Kudos, my little friend. We have found Dingo. But before we mark this case closed, I have the tiniest favor to ask. Dingo has an outstanding mind, but it takes a while to warm up in the morning. Little Shiatsu of the Grey Matter, and he'll be right as rain. Three hours, three! Counter Matilla! I swear I'm gonna boot your disc so dang hard! Great hairy clackers! I'm so hungry I could suck the crust off a warthog's bum! Shanti, Shanti, my friend! How I have missed you! Matey! Koala! It's been ages! Please, Dingo, we must be leaving immediately. Besides, I left the TTRV running. Hold on to your petri dish! I know that scroll piece is in here somewhere! Ah, see! Divine Mother, you found one! Indubitably, nothing slips by my steel trap of a mind. Now, what are we waiting for? Three biscuits? Let's go! Fly, we are needing your advice on our itinerary. Koala is unbelieving what he is seeing. We have found the land of lost things. Spanish galleons, rocket ships, my red argyle sock. It's a garbage dump for clacker's sake. A void to be filled. A celestial invitation. Yeah, to have a Titus. You expect me to go in there? You're cracked, you are. Truly miraculous find! Perhaps this will bolster our efforts.
Boggle me, Snoodle. We found it, mate. Paradise. A veritable cornucopia of scientific opportunity. And a great tan. Dingo, you are scaring the brown yogurt right out of my person. Please, a wish to go to heaven is the beginning of a terrible fall into hell. I didn't know better, I'd say this bloke had gone on an A1 tropical bender. Those uncivilized howling vermin aren't fit for the pound. Judge not lest you be judged. Perhaps this is simply the karmic wheel at work. Most unfortunate! Great Buddhas and Yogis! Surely this Emperor can use his all-seeing helmet to help us find the scrolls! Oh, mother of all sorrows, their fate is too gruesome to endure. Bugger me nuggets! Quatsi <laughs> Mandala, this is insidiously kafka -ed. A ragged, muddy pisser.
I suspect a very large set of nuts can be loosened with this. Do you mind? That is not the kind of thing a dog likes to hear. How would you like to donate your manhood to veterinary medicine? It's absolutely savage! Serious. If at first we are not succeeding, This pipe reminds me of the great koala mentor who said, It does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you do not stop. Funny, I'm reminded of a red tide on the Jersey Shore after a laxative convention. infested mongrels nobody blows up dr. dingo too far all action must culminate in wisdom we must remain true to our path and not be deterred by these barking dung piles It would be most painful to meet the plumber we stole it from. I hope this works before he tries to fix his loo. Oh, I can feel my spinal column compressing like jello. Oh, oh. Always negative. Perceive it as a wonderful opportunity for cardiovascular fitness. Now, let us open this thing hastily. Come on, you bloody wanker. I think I wrenched my back! Manual labor is the bane of every man of science. Hey, press What I call a formidable little conundrum.
Devils and gurus, these guerrilla tactics are completely uncivilized. I hate to burst your lotus bubble there, Koala, but they aren't gorillas. I was referring to guerrilla warfare. No worries there either. Gorillas are very peaceful creatures. No, the only thing we have to be concerned with are those bottom-dwelling dogs. Yes, the only problem is which ones, you or them. That hurts. If the sandal fits. How would you like me to bleach your saffron robe? Step lively, Koala. You too, you flying maggot. I swear, either of you trips one trap this time and I'll shave you bald-headed. We've really stepped in the buffalo pie this time. This is more enigmatic than a Sanskrit fortune cookie. It would be quicker if you just shoot Dingo and me now and put us out of our misery. Newtonian physics final. sound of one hand slapping. Now please, calm down my hysterical pile dropping friend. Thanks, I needed that. Nice velocity of the backhand, definitely felt like a smack. No, felt more like a slapped. Bingo, concentrate. How are we to free ourselves? Beats the hell out of me. I'm a scientist, not a locksmith. Fly, it's up to you. Find a way to get us out before those confounded curs find us.
By the gods, Koala could not be more happy if he were rolling in molasses at the great Koala Mentor's feet. Not bad, Buzzer. Looks like we're not in Kansas anymore. The Emperor is close. I can feel his royal presence. What presence? That's my new aftershave. Coup d'etat pour chien. This is a very large door. I am guessing the Emperor lives here? Of course it is! Who else could justify such opulence? Only someone with total disregard for the welfare of the citizenry. The sign says immigration. Same difference. Excuse me, oh great drooling one. Back off, mate. Let me handle this, pero a pero. May your leg always lift high and your hydrants be plentiful, brother. Dingo, please let me try. You obviously are failing to recognize the proper dialect. I'm really starting to dislike this place. I think it is time we checked under the hood, so to speak. You're a few spark plugs shy of a V8, my friend. Excuse me. I am perfectly capable of making small talk. Now get that flying booger out of my cranium. Our past experiences are indicating otherwise. Arf! Yelp! I feel like a golf ball going through a garden hose. If I didn't know better, I'd swear I'd seen this place before. Oh wow. Okay, if 
if that is how he is wishing to play it. Oh, wondrous excitement! Another opportunity to mingle with the bureaucracy. Fly seems to have a knack for this kind of bureaucratic work. Of course he does! These people who work for the government are all parasites! So, this is where the big cheese age is. Welcome to my happy kingdom! I've been expecting you, koala! Guys, get remember these trespasses! I'd hate to see the cool reception. Chakra chokehold! Atta boy! More fighting! More fighting! Destiny never separates good friends for too long, eh, Koala? Would he not? Why, you devious snake charming son of a birch! This two bit felon cannot help us. He is nothing more than a liar and a thief. Still upset about the mantra incident? That was a long time ago! Koala, I've changed. I'm not a sapling anymore. I've matured. Take a root. Monarchy carries enormous responsibilities. Koala, we have to get that helmet. It's our only hope. Stinking Rani Prolief. It is most imperative we borrow your all-seeing helmet. Okay. But I'm only doing this to prove to you that I've turned over a new leaf. I'll need something as collateral. I'll take the fez. Impossible. Totally unacceptable. Give him the fez. You can't wear it with a helmet on anyway. See? See what a little trust in one's fellow lumber will do ya? So, you wanna thank me now or later? Much better. Wait! No! Yes! Yes! I'm free! Koala, meet your new subjects. Boneheads, this is your new emperor. Do you have any idea what it's like being treated like Pinocchio's evil cousin? At least a little suck-up got to be real. Me? Bupkis. So I seduced my ownest wife. Seems she's got a thing for hardwoods. At least until I develop dry rot. Tried to just skip out on me. Did you like a statue? Well, just try and take that helmet off, Koala, and the same thing happens to you! <laughs> the only way you can remove the helmet is 
needs it. I request it back. So long, suckers. <laughs> That lying little bucket. Koala, are you okay? Hey, does that thing get spectrovision? Most certainly not. Dingo, you and Fly must track down that lowly wood pile, or I'll be trapped in this predicament for the rest of my lives. No way I'm going to roll over and play de dead. <laughs> Well, well, what have we here? Yo, Gumbear, check it out. Praise Mandala, another scroll piece. Cedars never prosper. Nice try, you deciduous midget. I want that fez back, or I'm gonna turn you into building blocks. Not a chance, you mangy mutt sniffer! It takes a lot bigger wallets than you've got to mess with the likes of Dr. Dingo too far. The only way you can remove the helmet is if I request it back. And there's no way I'm wearing that stupid party lid ever again! Is that a fact? Well, how would you like me to whittle up your woody nut? Please, Koala! Please give me back my crown! I miss my people! I miss the rigors of megalomaniacal rulership! I can see how ripped up you are. Well, here you go. The headgear's all yours. Ah. Praise Mandala! Dingo, you are a bona fide lifesaver! Damn you, Koala! Confound your lucky karma! I hope you get Dutch Elm disease and your walnuts drop off!
Dingo, it is not spiritually advisable to kick a foe when he is being down. The karmic wheel turns many revolutions. Boojum, happy boojum! I am so delighted to be exiting this floating pile of junk. I didn't like the looks of this place from the get-go. Let's motor. Perhaps then you have an enlightened suggestion as to our next destination. After careful analysis and a discerning look at the facts, I say we go eat. Chinese. I'm so famished, I could chew the arms off a begging leper. Or we could look for more scroll pieces before the universe goes to pearl diving in a rancid septic tank. How about Mexican? A rupee for your thought. over and sweep me up. This place is most strange. Looks like some kind of surreal theme park for guys named Sigmund. You worthless leg lifting mongrel! I'll teach you to mess with tough love! Not the face! Excusing us, miss, but I assure you my friend has been completely paper trained. Your friend is going to learn some dog obedience. Watch! Dingo, scream in pain! You are achieving very fast results. Too bad he wasn't this responsive when we were going out. Ah, then you are knowing each other. This explains the infliction of pain. Know him? He was my boyfriend! Till he walked out on me. Left me with a horrible case of fleas! Uh-oh. She's the one? The Uber Frau? And now, Dinky, you too will be fortunate enough to benefit from my psychological expertise. Think of me as your personal trainer. You'll get these back as soon as you complete your therapy. Have a peachy time! Dingo! Dingo! Say something! My head feels so light. Oh, Gertie! Poor Dingo! We must retrieve his marbles instantly before proceeding further. Oh boy! You need a ticket to ride the train. How do you feel about that, Dr. Tupar? Bon voyage, lads! Bon voyage! There must be a ticket purchasing venue someplace. I harbor a great fondness for fortune tellers. I am sure this is a good sign. The road to recovery is rife with ridiculous responses. Now take the ticket! Pretty choo-choo! Good choo-choo! All aboard the, the train of thought! The road to recovery is rife with ridiculous responses. The road to recovery is rife with ridiculous responses. Yes, Fly. I know where the exit is existing, but we cannot leave without restoring Dingo's marbles. Road to recovery is rife with ridiculous. Oh, 
We must most urgently retrieve Dingo's marbles. Fly, you are needing to help him. To play a little word association. Dingo, tell me the first word that pops into your head. Oh, oh I'm so glad you're as eager as I am to start. This should prove illustrative of your current psychological condition. Pretty. Please. Underwear. Um. Masculinity. My ex-girlfriend. Emotional. Belongings. Baggage. Please unpack my emotional baggage. Outstanding. Now that wasn't so bad, Ivadi, was it, Snookers? Next stop, the house of insanity. like a vending machine? You gotta work to get the goods, buster. Get out of here. The House of Doors. Opportunity is having to knock here many times. Welcome, my friends, to the show that always mends. The House of Insanity. This is designed to help you confront your phobias head-on and hopefully become a more balanced pooch. Now, Pookie, I'm going to give you a hypothetical predicament. You choose your response and we'll see if we can confront your deeply rooted phobias. Let's roll up our emotional sleeves and open ourselves to the possibilities. Are we ready? Are we allowed to answer no? Imagine that you're hanging out with a group of poodles and one of them suggests going to a nude beach. What do you do? A. Check to see if you have plenty of film in your camera. B. Dunk yourself in a vet of 35 SPF sunblock. Or C. Convince them to go to a vini roast instead. Oh, Dinky Poo, it's great that you're finally confessing your deep-rooted barolophobia. The fear of nude beaches. Come on in, Dinky. The water is splendid. <laughs> this place is requiring an enormous set of house keys. Let's try this one, Dingo. You and the dog of your dreams are sitting on the sofa. Suddenly, she starts kissing your neck. What do you do? A. Sprinkle her with garlic and holy water. B. Recommend she kiss your armpit instead. Or C. Inspect her scalp for life. Excellent work, my little lab rat. You finally admitted your hematomophobia, the fear of hickeys. But I still can't figure out where you got it from. When Sweden's gets home, she'll be so thrilled that I straightened up. <laughs> Dingo, I'm home. You that hickey, you cheating flea bag. <gasps> I am 
guessing Aldous Huxley is residing here. Well, Dingo, we seem to be making excellent progress. Let's try another. Imagine that you come down with a bad case of the sniffles, clearly needing medical attention. What do you do? A. Sit at home and try to tough it out. B. Ask Koala to recommend a witch doctor. Or C. Stab yourself with a knife so the hospital will admit you faster. A. Wonderful Dinga Rooney. We have uncovered your neuterphobia, the fear of vets. I'm sure you'll remember this. Nurse, what do we got? Doctor, this patient has eaten too many nuts. Ovens, oh, pecans, pistachios, oh, peanuts. Too many nuts, you say? Ah! My top top feels much better. Okay, Dingo, let's try another one. Imagine that you're sitting at home with the love of your life. <coughs> Who offers you a glass of milk and a platter of peanut butter sandwiches. What do you do? A. Suggest creative ways to apply peanut butter to her person. B. Ask if she has some Vegemite instead. Or C. Invite her on a romantic peanut butter picnic for two. This is wonderful, Dingaling. You finally confessed your arachibutrophobia, fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. I understand this was brought on by a traumatic childhood experience. Weird name. Okay, I need volunteers for our electric shock therapy experiments. Everybody who doesn't want to join up, say, not me. Not me. <laughs> okay, Dingo, you're in. Son, are you sure you want to go through with this? I cannot bear to hear another word. Your personal life is most unsavory. I am not an animal. I am an innocent man. Unjustly confused. Well, Dingo. Your progress is remarkable for a drooling vegetable. Let's see if you can figure out this one. It's a dark and stormy night. You're huddled in your trailer with a good book, when suddenly you hear a knock at the door. Through your people you see a very attractive Siamese feline. What do you do? A. Invite her in for a bowl of heavy cream and a tour of your lab? B. Ask to see her pedigree? Or C. Bolt your doors and windows and telephone the SPCA? Oh, my little Dingleberry, you're making true progress. It takes a real dog to admit to allurophobia, his fear of all cats, no matter how alluring. I'll bet you remember this little episode. Okay, my sick little puppy. See if you can handle this one. You apply for a job as a firefighter's dog. 
They ask you to demonstrate your talent for locating a fire hydrant in the snow. What do you do? A. Follow the scent of Dalmatian urine. B. Ask for a decent winter jacket first. Or C. Apply to law school instead. Hmm, we'll have to cure you of this perverse desire to be a lawyer. But at least we've uncovered your relievophobia, the fear of fire hydrants. I shouldn't have had that tenth refill of iced tea. My teeth are swimming. I really gotta go. Bad! I think we've almost cured you. I'm not feeling any better. You're just bringing back awful childhood memories. Shut up. Just answer this question. You've been dating a wonderful, charming, beautiful, talented psychotherapist. Ooh, wish I knew somebody like that. And she takes you on a shopping excursion. Along the way, she suggests you invest in some monogrammed towels, his and hers. Whatever do you do? A. Choose your favorite color and suggest matching toothbrushes. B. Tie her up in terry cloth and make a run for freedom. Or C. Take a hint, get down on one knee and propose. <laughs> Well, Dingo, I can now understand why you dumped me, threw my emotions to the ground and squished them to a bloody pulp. Not that I'm bitter. You have a severe case of metrophobia, the fear of long-term commitment. I should have seen it coming long ago. Hi, it's me, Dingo. Listen, we need to talk. I don't know how to say this to you, but I think we should break it off. Listen. I have nothing against you. I look forward to seeing you, but, well, I just wonder, what if there are others out there? I'm still young. I don't want to get tied down at such an early age, but I'll always treasure the times we had together. Oh, no, please, don't try and change my mind. Oh, it's best if we just end it quickly. Goodbye! <laughs> Dingo, did you cancel another magazine subscription? I'd rather not talk about it. Dingo, you're making great progress. Ooh, does that mean I'm cured? Not quite. I charge by the hour, you know. Now pay attention. Okay, imagine that you're planning a weekend getaway with your sweetheart. And she suggests going to a romantic Hawaiian island. What do you do? A. Tell her you should go to romantic Wyoming. B. Start adjusting your watch for the correct time zone? Or C. Practice saying Aloha without an accent? A. Well, Dingo, it appears as though we have uncovered a deep-rooted case of Lunastrolophobia, the fear of long romantic moonlit walks along the beach. I seem to remember the cause of this fear. Oh. Dingo, honey, I'd like to take a dip in the ocean. Hey, I'm no dip, and don't call me honey. You spotty, short-haired, stubby-tailed, fireman-chasing excuse for a canine. What did I say? Dinky Doodle, you did it. Honestly, Pookie Boo, I didn't think you could. You're going to love the next stop. Like a bad case of planter's warts. Great Wallamaloo, this is a most blessed discovery. Perhaps Dingo should lose his marbles more often. Son of a Brahma! Not another train! 
Sometimes the truth you seek is contrary to what you expect. Just take the ticket. Check, please. Great Gertie, this train business is growing most tiresome. Surely this place must have a taxi. Voila. Bingo. Interior. Exterior. Brain. Scared. Huge. Little. Adult. Puff. Beneath this tough dingo exterior. I'm a scared little pup. Oh, Dinkles. This just warms my shackles to see you making such breakthroughs. Spirit, I think you are done. Let us get your marbles back. That's the best two hours of rugby I've ever seen. Ah, the house of self-knowledge. I applied to be an exchange student here many months ago. Dinky boo, you made it. I won't say I'm not shocked. Sure you don't want to go three out of five? Never mind. Get on the couch, Snookums, or you're going straight to the spay and neuter clinic for the two-for-one special. Okay, Miss Bunny. Relinquish his marbles. A deal is a deal. Hold on to your chakras, cutie pie. I need to verify he's really been cured. Okay. Shall we begin integrating your id, ego, and superego? Yes? How dare you interrupt! Dr. Tupar is in a highly susceptible state! Go away, or I will prolong the session indefinitely! Jackie! Don't go in there! <coughs> we the dogs! <coughs> Not the plumber! <coughs> It's okay to cry. Let it out. Let it all out. Now there's scroll piece. I hope this was as good for you as it was for me. You may find this hard to believe, but this hurt me more than it did you. Oh sure, what's a little brain hemorrhaging between friends, right? Maybe you still need a little tune-up under the hood. If you think you're getting a valentine, well you can bally well forget it. Oh my my, look at the time. Well, it has been so pleasing meeting you, but we must not miss our train. Dingo, this is goodbye. But when you speak of me, and you will, be kind. And remember, all I ever wanted was a love straight and true.
You are lucky to be living, my friend. She employs a truly aggressive therapeutic technique. The woman's absolutely balmy. She's off her nut. She's got splinters in the windmills of her mind. Holy osmosis. Nice to have the old marbles back. I haven't been happier since I invented the rotating bunion burner and flapjack grill. It is most exciting to be leaving. But perhaps we have learned that repression creates transgression, requiring most painful confession. Let us instead choose a new digression. Where shall we go presently? How about fiery hot chili and beans? Perhaps. Then again, I could really go for an eel and salmon chutney pizza. Oh no, not the bunny woman again. Then you can chant Bodhidharma. Chant? I can't even pronounce that. We're history. I knew we were going to die. Body? Identify power drain. Kundalini energy field emanating from space station. Tractor beam is inescapable. You're toast. Will you play with me? Save the universe from total destruction, didn't you, Mr. Hero? Well, now look at the trouble we're in! Closer and I'll yank your gearbox right out your bum. If it's not too much trouble, strange creature, we'd like to speak with your leader. You heard the almost guru. I think we're owed an explanation. Who's in charge here? I hate bunnies. Come on, let's have a go, you pituitary harlot. Please, we come in peace. We come as friends. I'm this many, six, and you're my bestest friend. Oh, cute. I'll call you Kuali. And, oh, you smell yucky. I'll call you Turdy Poo. Bad duck 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 boy. Only six. Well, I must say this space station is most impressive. Cut for crap, Koala. I'm not drooling all over this miniature delinquent. Tell you what, Missy, you let us go right now and I won't paddle the chaps off your fanny. You're not listening to what I'm saying, Turdy Poo. We're gonna play and you're gonna have so much fun you'll want to die. <laughs> I can't wait. Any other bright ideas, Turdy Poo? Call me that one more time, bub, and you're getting a gum leaf enema. Dirty mouth! Dirty's got a dirty mouth! Chummy pal, take my new friend to the robbing room to play! Neato! Another star for my happy circus! 
to run over your little... Hey, hey! Where are you going? All done! Bye-bye, Dirty Poo Dog! Fly! Am I glad to see you? I swear I'm going to slow roast a hundred points off that little brat's IQ. Nobody dresses me like a girl. Well, hurry up! Get me out of here! Unlock this thundering thing before I knock your teeth out your food drain! I think that damn blasted contraption gave me a hernia! Now that you've had your perverted fun, I think we better find Koala before that walking diaper rash decides she wants to play Dolly some more. Nice work. Symmetrical, yet pleasingly avant-garde. I hate to admit it, but that little creep Suzette really knows her structural engineering. Hey, I know Gandhi's a big idol and all, but don't you think this is going a little too far, Master Huggy Bear? Praise Mandala! I am saved from the humiliation of public nudity. We could say the same. Holy bidet! The scrolls! They were right in front of my nose! That little pigtailed monster was using the most valuable spiritual artifacts for coasters! Someone ought to beat her bum like a conga drum! Separation anxiety. She's inhuman. Don't you just hate it, guests who don't know when to leave? <laughs> Masterful. Does this wunderkind know her steel beam construction or what? I like the color. Let's play. Let's play. I want to play hide and seek. Yes, yes. How about if you are hiding first? Okie dokie, but you got to count to ten to the second power. Another bloody lock. This kid has way too much free time. Well, she doesn't stand a chance against an intellect like Dr. Dingo Too Fars. Now let's see. Any halfwit can figure numbers out. We're half 
way there. That's the beauty of science. Things are what they seem. We should have solved this in half the time. Heavenly Mother, you are a genius, Fly. Oh, what am I, chop liver? I helped. Incredible! Look at these circuit boards! State of the art! If this kid weren't such an evil, demented little monster, I'd hire her! We should be able to program these telepads to dump us back on the TTRV. That is, if you can figure them out, Fly. Fly? I'll have you know, I have a master's in computer science. Not to mention PhDs in electrical engineering and modern dance! Ah, my little friend. This does appear most promising. I wonder how it works. Hate her. She's six. Do you have any idea? Just as I thought, the tractor beam power grid is at the end of this cute little corridor. No problem. I've got rubber soled boots. I can just stroll on through. SOB, nobody conducts my orchestra with a loaded banana. In life, timing is everything. My 
my word! That little girl has entirely too much time on her hands. Start looking! There's got to be a way to shut this bugger down. Most intriguing. Perhaps this will be of some assistance. I am completely out of my league in this field. She certainly seems to have a monopoly on evil, twisted fun and games. Perhaps her childhood was particularly unpleasant. What? She is a child! She gets to be 15, I tell you. I don't want to be anywhere near this solar system. Eureka! We've got it! The rotation causes interruption in the energy flow, and voila! No more tractor beam! Fly, I bow humbly at your feet. Ah, uh, your little rubbing part. Vamanos, marsupials! Right! Time to jelly! That's jam. Time to jam! Correct me if I am mistaken, but I believe the rotation has now sealed off our only exit. Steaming mothballs! Now, how are we supposed to get out of here? We have most certainly overlooked another possibility. in there. I'd rather drink a nice frosty guano shake. Yeah, great hairy 
okay, coach. Put me back in. Really? If I can't have pups after this, you're paying for the sperm bank, Pally. I think my eggs are permanently scrambled. Hey, hey, hey! It's just like the other one! This will be a piece of cupcake. Let's go! Did I ever tell you about the time my Rupai expedition got stranded in the Great Sandy? I believe so, yes. Yeah. You had to boil and eat three of your Sherpas. Boil? Are you mad? We sautéed them over a delightful cactus Kool-Aid. Dingo, what is your point? I'd move to the Great Sandy before I ever set eyes on that little girl again. Yes, another day, another rupee. Tara, work like a charm. One more! Let's marmalade! Jam! How difficult are breakfast condiments? All you have to say is, let's jam! I find that creep Suzette, I'm going to torture her beyond human comprehension. Yes, we didn't conduct ourselves very well. Please pass the ointment. This is so brown, browner than the brownest Gertie from the sickest yak.
Remember the time General Sopwith trapped us in that... Egyptian mummy! The one with all those serrated blades! How could I forget? I couldn't drink a glass of brew for a month without soaking the carpet! Was my friends. Save your breath until we're far, far away from here. Let's amscrave. Yes, forgive me for counting the poultry before they are hatched. Discern how to locate my blessed TTRV. That tractor beam is incredible. How she ever figured out reverse ionization polarity boggles my noodle. I am more amazed by her incredible disregard for our safety. Bad karma. Bad karma. A wondrous suggestion. Since uh, you've got home court advantage, give us to a million. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Nighty night, my little creep, Suzette. Come on, come on. We need some serious real estate between us and that little monster. I believe 1.2 light years shall suffice, yes? Bodhi, power up the Karelian walk drivers. Great 
clackers. That was too close for comfort. Oh, dingo. All that was required of us was thinking like a kinder. How long do you think it's going to take her to count to a million? <laughs> Well, what's it bloody say? Please for you to be quiet. Zen Shazi Afalulu, Benghazi Afalulu, Ramadishi Ichu Mishi. We really screwed the pooch this time. A furry hand puppet? Consider this your lucky day. Since you released me from my encumberage, I'll forgo turning you into bean paste! Now where's that elemental? Ella! Where are you? Divine Mother! Now I have surely come and done it. Dingo, we must go help Elemental. It's been a while, big guy. Too long, my sweet. You know, you look fantabulous. Have you lost weight? I thought you said these two were sworn enemies. What in frothing dingleberries is going on here? I am asking myself this question precisely. The answer to your evil question is... I am what's shaking. Behold, and bow down to Macho Mentor, Supreme Super Being! Blasphemer! Elemental is the Supreme Being. Cretan! Ella is us! She is but one half, much of the mother, the other, the one and the nothing. We are eternally grateful to you, Rumper Room Dropouts, for helping our plan succeed. Our plan? Thanks to you, our troubles are over. Manipulating a little karmic sucker was easy. <laughs> Enter Suckup, stage right. We provided you with the first scroll to summon our portals, which you did quite nicely, I might add. We needed the second scroll to unlock the doors, which would free us upon the cosmos. And now that we are out, it's Back on the road! We're gonna take this pitiful universe by storm and inflict some real joy and merriness! This is the most disillusioning episode of my life. I cannot believe I have been swindled by the Supreme Being. Perhaps I must rethink this whole enlightenment deal. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Let's take inventory of the situation. We've got a maniac on the loose and some old scraps of paper. You're right. We're screwed! Now is the time that I require divine guidance. We need a sign. <laughs> This is quite inexplicable. I swear this looks like some sort of mallet. Now, didn't I see... You may be right. Let's see. Hmm.
Granny, I am only going to ask this once. Please give Uncle Koala the mallet. But I don't have it! Besides, even if I did, I wouldn't share it with you two big meanies. You made Mr. Mental show up, and he's a poohead. Right Righto, but uh, will you help us? Maybe I will, and maybe I won't. I want more friends. Loyal, faithful friends who don't turn off my tractor beams and run away. Well, loyalty is most admirable in a friend. This is pointless. Like anyone in their right mind would be her friend. Okay, Woody. The jig is being up. Hand over the mallet. We know you have it. I wish I had a mallet. I'd crank your skull open like a beetle nut. Living with these damn dogs was bad enough, but now Macho Mental's got me sounding like one of them stupid laughing bags. Oh, quit your whining. We've got a universe to save. You find me a replacement to wear this asinine party lid, and I'll help you find the mallet. We'll get right back to you on that one. Let's blow this taco stand, Koala. Looks like you're a few tacos short of a combination plate, Poochie Tunes. <laughs> Perhaps not such a bad idea. I am thinking I need my head examined. Whoa, Koala! Are you out of your freaking mind? I am not letting her fondle my marbles again. Turn this bucket of bolts around right now before we both get walloped. Holy Bashmati Gertie, the Uberfrau. She was walloping you with a mallet, remember? Well, of course I do. That was a mallet? Funny, it felt like a small forklift. You're about the last people I ever expected to see back here. Perhaps you've decided on some follow-up sessions. Just try billing my insurance, you psycho. Ah, uh, he means psychotherapist. What he's trying to say is we need to borrow your mallet. Not a chance. This is my most prized possession. Besides, it's an integral part of my therapeutic technique. Well, be that as it may, your mallet seems to be the key to saving the universe from comedy apocalypse. Save it. I'm not giving you the mallet. I've been told that one day it's going to lead me to my true love, my soulmate. Oh, this should be good. I want a hard body, a real doll who can make me laugh. Don't look at me! I'd sooner feed my squishy parts to a school of piranha! With all due respect, Uber, uh, Miss Love, we don't have time for love connection. We need that mallet! Ah, I have needs too, and I am not losing my one true chance at real passion. Dingo, let's go. I think we need to revisit our strategy. Confound this! We're never going to figure this out. Futility is the mother of all possibilities. Futility is our middle name. Dingo! We must simply use this opportunity of despair to piece together what we know with what we desire. Like an equation, if that helps you any.
once friends forever. The lost dogs are the only living creatures stupid enough to like that misanthropic little twerp. We get her to wear the crown. Woody would cut off a limb to get out of their clutches. And he seemed awfully keen on meeting Tuff. If she'll go for the talking doorstopper, we're in like a cobra up a mongoose's caboose. What have we got to lose? Is it playtime? Is it playtime? I want to play. Here's an exposed electric wire. Go take a bath. Dingo. Annie, how would you like lots and lots of friends? More friends than you can fold, spindle or mutilate. Oh, goody, goody! I love friends! Look, Annie, here's the prognosis. You come with us to the land of lost things and you'll never be lonely again. And you get to be queen! A queen? Really? Neato! Let me get this straight. You guys convinced this twerp to wear the helmet, thus sentencing her to eternal imprisonment? I love it! What do I gotta do? I thought you'd appreciate it. All you have to do is agree to get hitched to the Uberfrau. Hottest babe you've ever seen. Did I tell you she's got a thing for choo-choo trains? <laughs> okay, okay, I can't take any more. You, you got a deal. Bring on the bunny! Annie, take the helmet and all the lost dogs will be your best friends forever and ever. And I get to be a real queen, right? A real queen, yes. Just put on the helmet. Yippee! <laughs> How sweet. Just can't stop coming around, can you, Dingo? Hello, who's the hard body? She's the most radiant creature I have ever seen. Radiant? Oh, oh absolutely. My exact thoughts. Tough love meet Woody not. Woody meet tough. Ah, they seem to have taken a liking to one another. No, really? What was your clue? The fact she's giving him a tonsillectomy? Get that damn mallet before I lose my kibble! Baba Shanti, look! Another Sanskrit poem. Either that, or a fantastic recipe for sag paneer. Lili mili, pola tili, mata manda dru, vishnamati, jemakati, dona babalu! My poo doesn't stink. Open wide and say, ah! Take that, you doppelganging no good deities! How dare you strike the supreme being? Have you no respect? Ever have one of those nights when the audience just turns on you? Koala, how could you do this to me? Haven't I always guided you along the true path toward enlightenment? You manipulated me, you lied to me, and worst of all, you have the worst eight-minute routine I have ever heard! I'm sorry if I ruined enlightenment for you, but you should have known that enlightenment cannot be given to you. There are no shortcuts, Koala. I am mortally ashamed. I am not worthy for flogging. Still, you lied to me. I like to think of it as a transcendental miscommunication. That's it. I've had it. Spiritual enlightenment is, it's really big stuff. Perhaps you will be thinking about that for the next eternity. Really big stuff, huh? Some people have a way with words. Words, smirts. My entire world view is being upheavaled. Yes, but we definitely kicked some caboose. Koala, we waxed their ectoplasmic hineys. 
You know, if it's any consolation, you really did save the universe. A thousand thanks for saying so, my friend. But had it not been for my selfish quest for enlightenment, the universe would not have needed our saving. Clackers! Koala! If you hadn't screwed the pooch, we wouldn't have had such a resume-quality adventure! Wait, Dingo. Say that again. Which? The part about screwing the pooch or the resume bit? Oh, I am the blind bat. I was so consumed by the greater task that I forgot to smell the lotus blossoms that littered our path. Pardon? It is as the great koala minotaur should have said, the journey is its own reward. Fly has indeed returned to its rightful dimension. Perhaps at last I am on my true path. Well, if that's the case, time to go smell the lotus blossoms. Come on, matey, let's go hoist a few, then soil ourselves in public. Whoa, Dingo, I am most new at this. Let us begin the journey one blossom at a time, my friend.